our spot I'm thinking little house here snow cave jump there jump there hip quarter tree jib <laughs> stoked to get it going let's get shoveling we're here in Hokkaido Japan and we're endeavoring to build our very own snow cave terrain park facility even though at first there may be a lot of struggling, we feel that what we're going to get out of it is going to be something extremely special that we'll never forget. Almost there. We almost got a house. So much more protected in there, eh? It's pretty cool. We're just putting in the uh, heating system for our igloo right now. Brown has just put the uh, chimney down through the snow there. and Yeah, got a little coal burner. Cheers. Traffic! The terrain at Hidden Mountain is just a, a good variation of terrain, really, and the tightness of all the features is kind of what made it perfect. Yeah, there's just so many options to build. just having a base you'd cruise up to every day and then tons of stuff around so we've just been 
smashing out little things every day and hiking around finding features. I've always loved snowboarding in the backcountry because you get away from everything. It's just you, your buddies, the mountains. It's a whole different world out here. After a few days, you almost forget the fact that it's continuously snowing. Your attention will all of a sudden, you'll look around and there's basically just massive snowflakes falling all day with no wind. And we're hitting features all day, every day. So far, we've made pretty good progress. Glad we have, because we work like dogs trying to get it this far, but it's come along really well. For being up here such a short time, um, and for how it's looking now, we've got a lot of days left, so I don't know what'll happen here. He's sounding pretty, you know, pretty confident here. He's putting a window in. We need new windows so there's more light in the cabin. He's pretty skeptical, our filmer Heath, but you know, we've we've gone to a lot of effort to make this window. We've cast it in ice and I think, you know, it, we just, we have to put it in. Yeah, that's awesome. Good? Yeah. Today I've got the silky big boy, it's, uh, it's quite a weapon. It's key, igloo building tool. Can't believe it, eh? There's just igloos as far as the eye can see in the middle of the Japanese forest. Jumps in every direction, landings and everything's covered in pow and there's just so many ice, I've never seen so many blocks of ice in my entire life. I think you plan out how long it's going to take in your head and then reality is you pretty much double it or triple it. <laughs> just another day fucking, we're just going to build a little jump and then we end up building a monster and another jump. Hey, that's solid. <laughs> I built this thing. <laughs> it's a sucker for punishment, eh?
I think at this stage of the build, everyone's starting to think of all the different tricks and creative lines that they're going to be able to take through the little adventure park that we've built. You've had a lot of time to think about like what you want to do when, it, when it's actually done. The setup turned out awesome. There was jumps everywhere. The further out you went, there was just more and more little features. It was amazing. It was a really good gathering, really good friends, and it'd definitely be able to pull my arm to come on another one of these for sure. It's been such a good crew up here, and we've had an amazing time making this playground what it is. It's going to be weird to not come up here every day.